everyone, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I wanted to do my Hermes bag collection video with you. Now, I do not have as many Hermes bags as I have Chanel bags, for example, but I noticed that after coming back from Paris, I did have kind of a little collection going. And so, because I haven't really talked in depth about all these bags on my channel yet, I thought, let's just put it in a video. This will be fun, sweet, and easy. And then we can kind of see how or if things develop over time. So I will go in order of the bags that I acquired. So the first Hermes bag that I ever received was this Kelly 25 bag. This was my first bag offer with my original essay who was like, just like Dreamboat essay. We're actually still friends now. I just visited him, um, got coffee. So that was a lot of fun. But this bag was the first Hermes bag I ever got and I have to say it's probably my favorite I okay at first I wasn't sure about this color and I know it's like pink but I wasn't sure because it's um you know it kind of changes color in different light and so when I first saw it I was like oh is it too like orangey is it too like it just wasn't a pink bag color that I was used to it wasn't pink like how the sweater's pink you can see it's slightly warmer but actually one this bag is such a chameleon and two I feel like this is a blush colored bag like it always matches like the pink on my cheeks I feel like and it goes with so many different outfits it is such a versatile color and actually uh Kelly 25 is a really great size bag this bag fits a lot like probably double what a Chanel mini would fit but it's still kind of like a Chanel mini equivalent like where you would wear a Chanel mini you could also bring the Kelly 25 like this is great for dinner this is great for shopping this is like like a wide variety acti of activities because of it's like it's small bag but it's like more like small medium and I love the top handle and the swift leather is just so stunning this is such a special bag this would be like one of the very 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 last bags I would ever part with in my collection just because I mean, she's so special to me. She's my first Kelly. I felt like that was a really big milestone. And I just feel like this bag will continue to get better over time. Like even if she gets worn and raggedy or whatever, that's kind of like still cool with the aesthetic of Hermes. That's saying I'm not like beating her around or anything, but um, yeah, that's just this bag. So um, she came with a lock and key clochette. I, did, I took the lock off the key thing because I felt it was kind of like, weighing it down um something about the swift leather it just feels a little bit softer this bag also has a uh, palladium hardware and then inside here we just i have the dust bag inside there's like this open pouch here which is really functional and then this zip pouch the swift leather is really nice and soft and buttery it's almost like it's not as scary as Chanel lambskin, but it's kind of like Chanel lambskin in a way. And this bag is just like my squishy pink little marshmallow. Like she's so freaking cute. Such a good one. Such a perfect first Hermes bag. Okay, my second Hermes bag was also from my old sales associate. I like to call this Kelly. Um, this is a Kelly 28. So this one's Retorn and this one's Cellier. Um, this Kelly 28, I like to call it like my goodbye my goodbye Kelly uh because this was uh the last quota bag that uh my old essay offered before he moved on from Hermes which was very sad uh this bag is kind of in this warm brown color and it's a cur de vache and so it's an untreated leather this is actually known as one of the heritage leathers um, and it has the contrast stitching and like the leather coated lock it's uh will grow a patina over time it looks really orange on the camera in person i guess it's probably somewhere in between a gold color and sesame somewhere in between gold and sesame it's definitely like a warmer brown but it's kind of like a neutral trench color this bag is you know like these are both kelly's right but these are totally different bags like the pink one is like squishy and soft and gentle and this one's like like it's anybody home like it's like hard uh the heritage leathers are literally what they would make saddles out of and this one feels very much like a saddle like it's in oh, 
you're kind of stiff. Okay, there we go. And so this one's stiffer, bigger. It's 28. It's only three centimeters bigger, but it feels a lot bigger also because it's um, Cellier, which is more rare. And then the inside is uh, Chev. And this one has two pockets and the pockets are actually like, they feel smaller than the 25 pocket. I mean, they are smaller, but it feels like there's less room because of the stitch down the middle, like that front pocket in the 25, I find really useful. These smaller pockets on the 28, I find less useful. And then also just because this bag is so stiff, I do not use them. Like in the back pocket, I have an air tag and that's pretty much it. Um, but this bag fits so much and it's actually like a really good work bag. Also just because of the leather, I feel like it's more um, low key. It's definitely a low key color. It looks really good with jeans. It looks good with black. It looks good with like, uh, you know, lots of neutral colors for work. It's just really super duper stiff, but this is a special bag. I like that, you know, people will see it and you know, the Hermes collectors will be like, oh my gosh, heritage leather, blah, blah, blah. And then the people who don't know a lot about Hermes are, um, might not even know that it's an Hermes bag or just are like, oh, that's a unique, different sort of color you don't see a lot. So really like this one. Um, this one I probably don't use as much as the Pink Kelly just because I'm just some, been more into small bags as of like recently. I was using this the other day and I was kind of joking with one of my friends. I'm like, I feel like I'm schlepping around a tote, even though this is just like a normal size handbag. But after using mini bags for so long, when you start using a normal size bag, you're like, wow, wow, I can, all the things I can carry, like imagine. <laughs> like I don't need to decide between keys or sunglasses. Like I can fit both of them in there. Like I could fit a book in here. You know, it's a really generous sized handbag, but this is also like truly a classic, just like a really great staple to have in my collection. Something that I do reach for like on days where it's like, I don't, I mean, it's a statement in itself, but I don't really want to like, I don't know. There's and not every day is the denim sequin 22. You know, some days are this like workhorse bag and this truly, I feel like you could run it over with a train and nothing would happen. Like it's a, it's a saddle. So i really want this one to grow its patina over time. I should use it more. I think as this one gets kind of not it's so bad. I feel like as this one gets beat up more over time, it will become like more like rich and yummy and good like I just I want it I kind of right now it's like stiff like a brand new saddle I keep saying saddle but like is it like you know a brand new baseball glove I feel like as it breaks in more it'll feel more like yummy and delicious and rich and fun but right now she's still she's my stiff baby okay so that's that one this next bag I revealed on um instagram and tiktok but i don't think i've talked about it here on youtube yet and this one is a bag that uh it's technically an slg and i was offered this by my new sa at my local store right before i left for paris um he was like i think this will be a great travel item for you and actually was very very useful travel item this is called the kelly to go so so far we're like all kelly's all the time Kelly Girl in a Kelly World. I actually really love this color. This is um, Magnolia. Lots of people were mistaking it for a very similar color. And this is also um, Chev. So it's very hard wearing, very nice. Goes crossbody. This is like the Hermes wallet on chain, basically. It is a wallet. Um, I guess it's like wallet, not on chain, on leather. And there's these little um, push button connectors. So you can take this strap out, you can switch it out. Inside, there's four card holders, two in the front, two in the back, um, and a zipper, zippered pouch here. In my experience traveling, like max, max capacity, I could put um, credit card, phone, a small lip gloss, and my passport in this. And that was like truly maxed out. Sometimes, you know, depending on the lip gloss, sometimes that didn't really work. Uh, and so a lot of times I would have credit card, lip gloss, passport, and then just have my phone in my pocket for this. Um, depending if your phone, like right now, for example, I have this obnoxious like loop on my phone so I can like watch videos and not break my nose. 
um, but that like adds more bulk, right? When you're traveling with it. So if I had my phone in a smaller case, it would fit a lot better. But this was just such a good piece. And I actually feel like the color worked really well with a lot of different outfits. And um, yeah, similar to this Kelly, like I think if I were, you know, picking off of a list, like, oh, would I have picked this more like purpley pinky color? No, probably not. Like would I have picked the shade of pink? Like, no, probably not. But they end up working really well with different outfits. And so, um, yeah, no regrets there. It's just interesting like how Hermes magic kind of works out that way where it's like, um, you know, with Chanel, you can get like pretty, well, you know exactly what color bag you're getting when you're buying it um, because there's no like worrying about what's available or what's being offered or blah, 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 any of that. But with Hermes, it's a little bit like a personality matching program where then you basically just become really dependent on a sales associate to match you with like something that will fit your style and lifestyle and um, wardrobe and all that. And so that's like really building a relationship with your essay becomes important in that regard too, unless you're like just getting black bags, in which case black is black, just sim simple, easy. Okay, and then the last bag I recently revealed here on YouTube, um, but this is the fourth and final Hermes bag in my collection, my little cutie 2424. And actually I think there is something weird with the lighting because this is gold and it's turning up very orangey as well. Let me just like turn this light away. Whoop. Okay. Oh, see, that's much more true, um, at least in the viewfinder. So bringing this Kelly back, you can see like it is warmer yellower. This one's definitely like more brown sienna-y, but they're both like really good neutral colors. Looking at them in real life, this one's much darker. And I had said, I don't want the 2024 in gold. Well, I kind of fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. I love this little dumpling bag. There's so many different ways you can wear it. It has a little slip pocket in the back. The strap, lots of people are like not a believer when it comes to the strap, but I'm telling you, it's so good. It's so good when you wear it and functional when you wear it. So inside, it's just this like little open mouth dumpling. It can be a little bit harder to find things in here because the bottom of the bag, you can see the bottom of the bag is bigger than the top of the bag. So in that way, it's kind of like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that all that was in there. Um, and where is everything? But that's okay. The zip pocket in the back is actually very functional. And I actually just found my room key in it um, for my travels, but that back, the pocket is actually really functional because it's so soft you can get in because the Kelly 28 it's so stiff it's like not super functional to use but this is really super functional to use fits a phone very easily and a million other things it actually has very good capacity in fact I might say it's let me compare it to the Kelly 25 oh and I was also in the middle of saying that people are a total disbeliever it's actually pretty similar to a Kelly 25, like just in terms of capacity. In terms of style, it's much more casual. It's like a weight. The Kelly is a little bit of a prissy bag. <laughs> like it's very like girly girl. And then this bag is just like a little bit more like casual, like under the radar. Like I would, I know that's like kind of on the out now, but I would truly call this like quiet luxury type bag because you can, Oh, it just looks so delicious, like a little dumpling, but then like carrying it on your shoulder, like nobody knows, nobody knows that it's like a $9,000 bag here in the States. Uh, by the way, in Europe, it was way cheaper. So this retails in the States, I think for like $9,600 in Europe, I paid 7,900 Euro, but I'm getting like 14% of that back on my credit card. So, I mean, I'm like, got to do more shopping in Europe, people. Um, anyway, this is just like, I think it's such a good bag. You can see, so if like you hold it like this, yes, it does tilt, but it doesn't like fall off of the shoulder, off of the body. Like I don't, I, they just know what they're doing in Hermes in terms of designing bags. Like it just sits nicely up against the body and um, it's like really easy. Like you swing it around, you can like get what you need out of here. You close it up, you lock it in and it's like, it's easy peasy. It's easy peasy. And even like with this pink, ugh, 
it's just so good. It's just such a good neutral bag. I, you know, I really didn't think I was a gold bag person. This has me like fully converted. Um, and then also I talked about this in the unboxing video, but just in case this is your first one, it actually has three sets of holes. So it has three here, three here, and three here. So this is the longest setting, which is, I think is really good for me doubled up. The second setting is good for me crossbody. And then the third setting, I actually really like for long on the shoulder, which is like the third way. Um, more petite people also kind of style this bag sometimes as like a backpack. That is not really for me. <laughs> um, I just think that this is like too small of a surface area for me to be wearing as a backpack. And now I know I have that super mini Chanel backpack, but I mostly wear that like on one shoulder to the side, not as like posted, postage stamp in the middle of my back. Oh, we're doing it, we're doing it. This, it's like so effortlessly chic. Like just long on the shoulder, like this. It's so good. Like a little satchel. Mmm, yum. I know you can't see it, but just like imagine it. It's so good. I would even I would get this bag in a second color. I think this is like such a good little bag. I haven't seen it. I think the, so this is the 21 centimeter um, size. So I guess in that way, it's a little bit smaller than the Kelly technically, right? Cause 20, I wonder where they're measuring. I need a tape measure because right. If this is like 24 versus 21, um, they must be measuring from the top because these are like, I'm putting like the feet at this bar and they're, the feet go from bar to bar. No? Yes? <laughs> I don't know what they're measuring when they say, <laughs> when they say 21. It must be the top. I'd be interested to try the 29 in person. The 29 actually has, um there's pretty good deals on them on fashion files. So that might be interesting to check out. Anyway, that was my Hermes bag collection so far. Um, what is on my Hermes bag wish list? Uh, well, first of all, I need to do some like bag collection reflection purging. I counted the other day and I have 28 bags. Now 28 includes like bags like this, but I, that's a bag, you know, like, and they're not all like that, but 28 bags, that feels like a lot. So um, I'm not, certainly not going from 28 to like some sort of minimalist, whatever um, declaration, but I think 28 feels like too many for me. I think I'd be comfortable, more comfortable in like the 20, 20 area, um, but it's tough, you know, it's tough kind of like picking things to cut down on. Um, I'm really happy right now with all of my Hermes bags. I think the one I probably get the least use out of is this one. Um, I really, I need to just like get it beaten up. <laughs> so bad to say. She needs, she needs to get out there and get, I, like I'll put it in the dryer or something. <gasps> no, I'm not gonna put it in the dryer. Oh my gosh, Come on. oh my gosh, she fainted. <laughs> oh, but anyway. I need to do some reflecting on my collection, but as far as my wish list, like of course, duh, I have a Birkin on my wish list. Um, I'm working on it. I really want, yeah, like a Birkin 30 uh, in Cray. I think it's like the latest place where I landed. I used to say I wanted a 35 pink Birkin. I think that would just be too big and hurt my back. Um, I think a Birkin 30. Um, maybe another one of these, honestly. I love this bag. It's so good. And I also really like uh, the all the new Elan bags that they're coming out with. Uh, the Constance Elan and the Della Elan are really cute. This one has also been like super functional for me because I got this. I think I can um, relieve a few of my walks from my walk collection. Recent, well, this is just a totally separate video. So anyway, anyway, all that's to say, this is my Hermes collection video. Thank you so much for watching. If you stayed for the little, I don't know what that was, uh, extra adventure chit chat at the end, I appreciate you. Please give this video a thumbs up and otherwise I will see you in my next one. Okay, bye.